All right, we have the radical expression of the cube root of 108, a to the ninth, b to the negative twelfth, and c to the twenty-fifth. Our first step is to separate the radical by using the product rule for radicals. So cube root of 108 times cube root of a to the ninth times cube root of b to the twelfth times cube root of c to the twenty-fifth. Then we're going to simplify the radicals by finding the highest perfect cube. And we're also going to do the same for our coefficients and variables. So you can break down cube root of 108 into cube root of 27 times cube root of 4. And we can further break down our cube root of 27 to 3 times cube root of 4. Cube root of 8 to the 9th is a perfect cube. So 8 to the 3rd. And then cube root of b to the negative 12th can also be simplified into b to the negative 4th. And then for the cube root of c to the 25th, we can do the perfect cube of c to the 24th, and then cube root of remainder c. This simplifies to c to the 8th times cube root of c. So then we have 3 times a to the 3rd times b to the negative 4th times c to the 8th times cube root of 4 times cube root of c. Alright, then we are going to combine and multiply it across our like terms. So we get 3a to the 3rd, b to the negative 4th, c to the 8th, times cube root of 4c. Then we want to use a negative exponent rule to further simplify our problem. So that's stated as a raised to the negative n equals 1 over a to the n. So... Looking at our negative, we'll do 3a to the 3rd, c to the 8th, cube root of 4c, all over b to the 4th. And that's our final answer.